Magnificat is a home for women. It's a non-profit. What we're trying to do here in this what used to be a convent is to make a nice home where, where women can come and feel happy and safe and, and make it pretty and have good food and just a relaxing, peaceful place. I'd like to say is I was recommended by my church to have a safe haven at Magna Cut. And this, I was turned down by a lot of places. I'm 81 years old and it's tough to be put in the street. Magnificat Home is a very special home. I didn't have a place to stay and they welcomed me here at Magnificat Home. And it does provide three meals a day. Uh, it, I have my own room and um, people are very nice and friendly and everyone gets along with each other and um, I've enjoyed my stay here and I just, I, if you need help out there, I, I pray that you reach out. Thank you. I appreciate our magnificent home. When I didn't have a place to go, Matt came to me personally and he helped me out. He helped me um, to get a room, a place to live. Um, I really appreciate it, and I thank Matt. <laughs> one night I'll cook, another night somebody else will cook. Uh, I am the first one here. I'm just blessed to be here, and you know, I came from Ethiopia. I'm only one year here. I mean, Brock is not only a great cook, which someone mentioned, but she's like a mother to this house. She's here all the time, and she takes care of the place. She helps everybody. She's here at night, and uh, everybody looks to her, and she and she brings like a stability. She's really like a gift from God. I'm so glad we got her. You know, it was like an answer to prayer because we needed. I knew we needed someone um, to be here, to live here, to manage the place. You know, and so she's an answer to prayer. My mother died of a heart attack, and this place, um, I found out about Magnificat Home, and I've been living here for a month, and it's a really nice place if you need to get on your feet. I was in a shelter, and it's horrible. It has a warmth here that you don't find in a shelter. It has love in this house. Out it's there, out in the streets, it's, it's, it must be really hard for them. So this is the house, it's a blessing. I really love coming over here. It's just a great, happy home. It's lovely, the yeah. women are lovely. I'm back to make the dinner. Yeah, she, she, they helped me. The whole I didn't make day the whole cookie. dinner. Sure. Me, Brock made wonderful <laughs> things. My mom Ooh. made some things. Careful, guys. It was a team effort, team effort. And that would be his mother pass. Oh. No, that was sad. That was a big change It was very life. nice. They had a church, uh, a mass for, for uh, an honor of my mother. It was very nice. Right in that little room in there, which is a little church. Yeah, chapel. Chapel. Yeah. Chapel, yeah. She was 65 years old. Yes. 65? She was young. She, that was young. Yeah, that's young nowadays. Oh, yes. Since we're up there. <laughs> 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 Any adult women are welcome here, but we have a special interest in, in, in welcoming low-income women. Now that includes women who, who may have conditions, mental, physical conditions, taking medicine. So what we provide here is a private room, three meals a day, a nice environment, several uh, common areas like the living room here we're sitting in, two TV areas, there's a chapel. And the laundry. And, and the laundry, we, we assist as needed with laundry, we assist as needed with medication, if, 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 if that's needed. I put it in the refrigerator, I think. We are well taken care of, we're safe and secure. We each have our own rooms. And I'd like to take the time to tell the people out there to please keep us going. It's just like home. It's just like home.